Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. As you can see we're in Sim Casino again and things are going very well. Currently sitting on 173,000 and we're continuing to make a lot of money. Uh, it's really going well. So uh, in a fast forwarded time about I think it's about seven days now and um, I was able to uh, pay off the large loan that we took out a number of episodes ago so financially we're looking really quite sound at the minute and uh, my next kind of thought in terms of how we expand this is to actually expand into um, having hotel rooms uh, that we can get guests to stay in and out again another source of uh, income so um, the hotel rooms I think I'm going to uh, actually put them on the first floor and I think that'll be, I think that'll be decent actually. That will give us, uh, as you can see, it's, the casino is quite a fair size, so I think that should allow us to put quite a number of rooms. I'm not sure, too sure how this, how much this is going to cost, but we will soon see. Um, now, kind of the obvious place to add a kind of, so uh, like a stairs or no, I don't want to close that. Um, stairs or a lift. Uh, would be this area here it's uh, in a quite a good location so i think we can try to work out i think that's just a touch too big to go that way perhaps so i think we'll pop in an elevator for straight away i think we can pop let's pop two in there and then uh, we can you no, know, we don't want to put that there. We want to probably put it oh, right there, I think. Now, if we go up to the first floor, and if by magic you see we've got the uh, stairs just uh, well, the, uh, the escalator just popping out there. So let's get our foundation and let's see how much this is going to cost. Oh, it's going to be a big chunk of our money, seventy-eight thousand, but. I think it's really it's it's definitely needed. We need to sort out the. Uh, let's uh, do that really quickly. Let's get a some of these bricks and we'll put it all the way along the front. So it starts to to blend in now. So that looks good. And uh, I'm surprised the uh, elevator was not uh, has not come up to the second level. So we'll have to work out. So it'll go there, up one, um, is that quite right? Nope, it's not against the wall, it's helpful, so can we, ah oh, damn, so I want to move that, I think I want to actually just to dismantle it, and this one, and I think then we go down to here, add four above, Get back down, add four above, yeah that's the way to do it. And what we'll just need to do is get the wall tool. Uh, where are you, where are you, where are you, your fence, your wall, perfect. Just need to probably come along here, just block this off because I don't want, don't want people falling down there. That would not be good, can we get just like so yep I know people can't get there it's intentional and then we'll just block that off like so so and then that's how they get up and they'll come they go into the right bit there they'll come straight into reception which should be we'll, we'll put three desks, uh, four desks, that should be plenty. Um, we'll also need a hotel laundry, so we'll do that next. And I think it makes sense to probably put it right next to reception. I think that makes sense. And then we'll, uh, we'll pop it just there and I think we'll need a 
we'll put a couple in. I think I've made this laundry room a little too big if you so just put a couple more storage units in. And I think what we'll do is make this a little bit smaller because that doesn't really make sense at the minute. So we'll get rid of that wall, uh, dismantle wall. This, okay, so that's our laundry room, but it helps if I put it in a zone. Like so, perfect. So we've got our hotel laundry room now. Now the next bit is to get bedrooms in place. As you see, we've got you know a really large space here to uh, to fill out, and we're sitting on ninety two thousand, so it's going to be a lot of money, um, and we've got a lot of space. So we want to try and obviously get as many rooms in as we possibly can, but still make them you know quite at least quite luxurious, luxurious anyway. So. Um, Let's take the wall down to here. It's a length of 40. And how many deep are we? 11. Ooh. Okay, so let's measure out. That's helpful. Um, I want to measure 11. So it's from there. I want to do another 11 down to here. Get that. Oh, this one's quite long. This is going to get a lot of a lot of rooms in. So let's do another eleven, and that's that. So we'll just partition off the walls like this. So we've got rooms going all around the outside, and uh, I think we will. Is it? So we'll probably go around here, 11 and down. We'll divide these up in just a second because um, we've got to kind of work out how the rooms are divided up because we need to get bathrooms in and obviously lots of furniture and, and stuff like that. And it would hopefully make it feel a little bit, a little bit fancy in here. So. Um, Let's do that there probably. How many uh, wide is that corridor? Four wide. And what have we got here? Three wide. So let's just take that back a touch. I'm trying to kind of make it as uh, symmetrical at least as we can. Um, so we'll take it. I think that's about four wide. Should we just check that? One, two, three, four, five, nine. Another one in there. That's five wide, so I can get another one just on there. And then up. Okay, so that's our middle rooms that won't have have much light unfortunately, but and uh, we will I think put one down the middle there. Down the middle. We reckon we can get another room, make this into eight perhaps. Yeah, I don't see why not. These aren't going to be particularly expensive rooms because they've got no no windows or anything like that. That's not very, that placement of that wall is not very good at all. It should be more like that, I think. Let's just take those. Walls out a second. So that looks good. Okay, so as you can see, that's uh, going to be our middle rooms. We'll pop some doors in there. So, what I'll do um, is uh, very quickly um, off screen, I will divide the rest of these uh, rooms up and uh, I'll see you in just a very short second okay so you join me back and as you can see now I've divided the rooms up 
Um, they are varying in sizes, so we will get different rates for them. Um, and I've put in all the uh, the private doors that you need to, and I've also popped a bit of carpet down just to add a little bit of colour. So you can see we've got some really dark grey dull boxes at the minute, with no kind of windows or anything to that kind of effect. So um, the next obvious thing we need to do is to actually uh, get a room up and running. So uh, kind of without further ado, I think what we'll we'll focus on this one just here i think um so this is going to be one of the small box rooms so it's going to have if we just get back to our building screen so first things first we need to so we've got a choice of a queen's bed or a single one so i this i'm kind of inclined to perhaps make this these uh eight inside singles um but it probably would fit I think it probably would fit Queen uh, yeah I think it probably would so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it I'm, we're gonna we're gonna make these Queens they will fit so that's fine uh, we also have to get a bathroom in here so I think we'll do it something oh no let's make it a little wider down to the door Yes, I realise you can't currently get in there. That's fine. We then put an internal door. Uh, like so. And this will become... So this will become a hotel bedroom. So that becomes 201. And you become a pri private bathroom. And uh, so what we need to get in there is obviously uh, a toilet uh, perhaps we can work out actually first of all we'll probably need a bath or a shower what should we go for we'll go for a shower in these ones uh, so that can probably go let's just where will this probably best go probably that corner there we can have a toilet Mm, yeah, a toilet can go there, and then we'll need a. Uh, uh, where's the cabinet? Sink with cabinet, and you can go like so. So, what else does a. Uh, following close space. Uh, needs a wardrobe as well, That's so that's the last thing we need to pop in there and I think we've got room for this uh, wardrobe probably just to go just here and that's fine and to make it a little bit nicer we can pop a TV just there and I think a uh, a desk would be finish that off nicely and the only thing left to do is to actually as you see we've already got a guest in there there's no messing about um, just to finish this off let's put some tiles down in the bathroom uh, we'll go with oh I don't know let's just choose one uh, we'll go with this black number here well, it's, it looks a lot different well, that's quite that's a little bit different and then in the bedroom itself we'll we want carpet of course in the bedroom so uh, something to complement the quite jazzy one out there what do you oh I don't know um, they're all quite jazzy aren't they yeah this red one Don't want it going into the. There we go. And so, if we just look at this, uh, so as you can see, uh, we've got an overall score of forty-six percent. We've 
you can choose between an economy, a standard, or a suite. And uh, then you can see you've got an environment of 0%, window view of 0%, well, you're not going to get one in here. Uh, it's a large score, so 63%, in room entertainment, bed score, bathroom facilities. So it's not getting the best. Um, I think perhaps we could improve it by putting a bit of uh, a bit of paint on the old walls. Let's, uh, let's jazz this up. I think we can make the uh, bathroom all white. Nothing wrong with that. Let's do that really quickly. Let's see if this uh, improves our score a little bit, and perhaps uh, I'll have a wallpaper wall. Perhaps I don't know. Something like that. Uh, make that the. No, I don't like that. Yeah, that looks funky. And uh, perhaps we'll just go back to just a bit of the old classic paint. Uh, again, yeah, let's make it white. If in doubt, paint it white. Can't go wrong. See if this helps the. Uh, score of the room in any way at all let's just have a look at that now and uh, a big zero so <laughs> giving it a bit of paint didn't help so what else can we pop in here that may help our our score right perhaps uh, we've got a wardrobe a wine rack uh, bedside cabinet yeah I can see uh, Big TV? No, we don't want a big TV. Let's uh, pop in a uh, bedside cabinet, perhaps. I can see that helping. Uh, we've got a 15% on the environment now. Well, that's uh, that's certainly helping us. And you can see we're at 107% on price satisfaction. So happy to pay the 200 uh, 200 pounds a night and um, ease. Environment 98%. Yeah. And he's out of there. So I think we will probably make the rest of the rooms very similar. Um, I'm not going to replicate this for you, so you have to watch me do every single room. So um, in the next episode, when you uh, come back to us, what I'll have done is all these rooms. Uh, all these rooms filled with um, plenty of uh, hopefully plenty of nice stuff so that we're earning a good amount of rooms uh, a good amount of money obviously these larger rooms we could probably ask for sort of sweet prices um, so I think yeah we've got a, uh, a good thing going on and hopefully uh, yeah when you join me in the next episode will continue our expansion so guys thank you ever so much for watching this one i hope you enjoyed it uh, please do give it a thumbs up by hitting that like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well and uh, ring that that bell to get notified so as soon as the next episode comes out and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye